<laughs> wow, right, yeah, <laughs> wow, um, <laughs> I'll just go over my, over my information about these devil worshippers, <laughs> um, the worst talk, right, in the spirit, in the spiritual people, over spiritual people, the worst talk of that, they're going up to the, so they're going up to the woods to do rituals in the woods, right, uh, and do rituals on me, right, and, and there was talk in the spiritual realm, in, in, in other spiritual people, that there was doing, um, there was dancing around, there was dancing around the fire, naked. Right, yeah. Now, I, 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 right, this book, right? This book, right? I've got, right? This book, right? Yeah. It's called. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see what it's called? The Golden Mirror. Yeah? The Golden Mirror. Right? Saint George, a study in magic and religion, Sir James George Fraser by Sir George Fraser, right? Yeah, at Oxford University, right? Follow, follow of Trinity College in Cambridge, yeah, Cambridgeshire, yeah, yeah. Now the Golden Bearer, right? Its founder, right, was Alistair Cowley, yeah, and Alistair Cowley, right. He he was deemed as a man man, right? And he died as a man man, right? And uh, his his teachings, Alistair Cowley's teachings is a cult, dark occult, dark, 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 satanic occult. Which means he was involved Alistair Cowley was involved in child sacrifice. Child, uh, child, uh, animal sacrifice, and doing all kinds of rituals. Now, one of the rituals in here, in this golden mirror, right? Yeah, which makes sense, right? Yeah, is um, where is it? The Harvest Kings. Where is it? Um. The corn spirit as an animal, yeah. The corn spirit, yeah. Now uh, it was it was harvest, yeah. The fire festival, yeah. The Beltane, midsummer, Halloween, midwinter. They need fire, fire festival, fire festivals, and the uh, corn spirit, yeah. Now uh, <laughs> that corn spirit, right? It, it, cause Golden Mirror, right? It, 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 it's, it's a study in magic and religion, right? So like, it, it's his study, what he's been, he's been writing, he's been studying, and how magic and religion goes together hand in hand, cause it does, it does, it does. And it's the same with religion and spirituality. They go hand in hand together because spirituality is a is a wide wide range variety of all kinds of different religions. Yeah, because you've got Buddhism, you've got Hinduism, you've got Muslim, you've got Christian, you've got you've got all of, you've got all of these you've got all of these. Um, Gods and goddesses and deities, what other cultures pray to, and in in a spiritual sense that they all have the same, they all work together. So they all so, so Christianity, so religion and spirituality goes together hand in hand, because it's the same with magic and religion. They go together hand in hand. So it all works together because it's all together. It's all it's all one. It's all one as one. We are as one. We're all together as one. Yeah. <coughs> now one of the rituals, as I said, with a corn fire and a corn spirit as an animal, right? That ritual, right, is where you're dancing around a fire, 
naked, harvesting energy, harvesting the energy, harvesting um, crops. Harv it's a harvesting ritual, right, to harvest energy, to harvest um and, and in in ancient times, right? In ancient, 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 ancient times, right? That ritual was used to was used to, and it's still used to this day in like in many different cultures in many different places around the world, right? Yeah, like so, like Peru in in a in a rainforest of Peru, yeah, a tribal people of there, right? They would dance around in a fire naked because on, on like all summer's eve or baltin or whatever and, and that was because in in that religion they do that they do that ritual uh, to harvest you know for harvest to say thank you for the harvest you know they, they would they would do rituals to for the next coming harvest, if you would say, yeah. So one once a year they would do a ritual like that, and then for for the yearly harvest to harvest the corn, right? If you it's like corn animal, so that's a ritual, and and that's that's been around ancient, 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 ancient times, right? Yeah. But that golden burra is it, it, like a study, right? But Alistair Cowley, right? He was a, he was a, he was a, the co-founder co of uh, the golden burra, and he turned the golden burra into a dark satanic way and a dark satanic occult, and he ended up with his own satanic occult. And he ended up child sacrificing, he ended up animal sacrificing, and he ended up turning a madman. <clears throat> now, um, satanic occults, um, as I said with these devil worshippers, yeah, and, and I've gone up to, uh, to Silbury Woods and danced around the fire naked, yeah, to harvest my energy, so they could harvest my energy. Yeah, that's what it was. So they could harvest my energy, because that's what that ritual is. Because that book, when I when I, it took me, I read that twice, and the first time I couldn't understand it, but like the second time I I understood it a bit more. Now it's like I I don't need I, I understand it. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't need to read it. I, I, I understand it. So, like, yeah. We know what you've been doing up at Solbury Woods. 